What's going on, MGTOW? What's going on, Red Pill? Back at you with another video. And this is about this Avengers movie. And I see somebody made a, uh, a fan-made cut that was defeminized. <laughs> yeah. And looking at this one piece of the article here that says um, Brie Lawson has vanished. That's right. The editor took her out of the film. <laughs> Or I think maybe most of the film. No, I think he took it out of the film. Yeah, that's right, man. I mean, people are, well, <clears throat> mostly men are really annoyed of her, um, of her playing this character. You know, it, it just didn't really hit it. <laughs> yeah, so um, I read a good bit of it, but somebody left the audio in regards of this. Uh, this fan made cut. Yeah, so um, it left out the men hugging and um, a lot of the men being helped by the women. Yeah, man. So, uh, you know, men are getting tired. And um, I pretty much know what the agenda is, but it starts from much higher than what a lot of you guys think. Okay. And like I said, it's your world leaders that are behind us. Because they're trying to make a lot of men weak before they really push martial law in the future. Okay, you don't have to take my word on that, you know, but you should do some research. All right. The U.S. leaders are really about to lose their rulership, just like the Romans did, the Egyptians did. Okay, and they're trying to best to feminize a lot of men through the women. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and play this audio that was um, left by someone. But anyways, listen. The super... The superhero movie Avengers Endgame is super close to becoming the highest grossing film in history. It could break the record held by Avatar nearly three billion dollars so it's really popular but a certain kind of fan objects to a certain aspect of this movie this film like others courts diverse audiences by featuring women and characters of color and we know certain fans don't like that because they made their own cut of the movie and Pierce Netta Ulibi reports there's a pirated version of Avengers Endgame circulating online where you won't see this scene with Captain Marvel played by actress Brie Larson so let's get up use them to bring everyone back. Just in fact, like in this version, edited by a fan, you will not see Brie Larson at all. This version removes anything he, presumably he, found feminist or gay. It's the latest example of an emerging media trend, says Suzanne Scott, a professor at the University of Texas at Austin. This now seems to be something that's happening for every mainstream geek culture franchise that deigns to have more than one white female character in it. This defeminized version of Avengers Endgame also removes scenes where women rescue male superheroes or when men hug. And it minimizes the character Black Panther. Wakanda forever! For as long as fans have had access to movies and editing tools, they've recut their favorite films to suit themselves. No, no, Mrs. Stan! About 20 years ago, a fan edited out a widely despised floppy-eared alien seen as racist from the Star Wars movie The Phantom Menace. Mrs. Jar Jar Binks! Mrs. Your humble servant! The edit eliminating Jar Jar Binks got a fair amount of attention and respect in Hollywood, even allegedly from within George Lucas's own studio. But it's different in tone from the new edits on illegal streaming platforms that get rid of minorities and ladies. One defeminized version of The Last Jedi from 2017 removes scenes with female pilots giving orders. Bombers, keep that tight formation. Fighters, protect the bombers. And even worse, men following women's orders. Copy that, Blue Leader. This defeminized cut got rid of General Leia making decisions, having ideas, and reprimanding male subordinates. It cut so much, Suzanne Scott says, little was left of the original two-and-a-half-hour film. It is borderline incomprehensible. Clocking it in 46 minutes, it has cut out a lot of story that you need to make the whole narrative cohesive. So what's on the screen plays like an avant-garde film. I thought this cut was funny. Essentially, it's just one big uh, joke. An anonymous defender of the defeminized Last Jedi cut posted this review on YouTube. Frankly, 
the defeminized cut is better. Like, it, it has better ideas than the actual movie. I feel conflicted about shining light on this. Suzanne Scott agrees with the YouTube critic about one thing. Whoever's making these defeminized versions are likely internet trolls. Rewarding them with attention for being mean and misogynistic feels counterproductive, even if they reflect to an extent the larger culture. Vastly more fans produce positive work, she says, like this video essay. We're straightening up the house. Encouraging Marvel to add more LGBT characters to its movies. Neto Ulibi, NPR News. And now, more from NPR. Alright guys, so a lot of what they said is what you would read here, okay? But um, I'm just going to go um, scroll this slowly. So, um, you know, you could pause the video, read along it. Besides, I got to be at work soon when I came across this this morning. Um, yeah, you guys just, <laughs> yeah, you have to really take this to consideration because, um, you know, it's really good to know, you know, this whole feminist shit. It was out of control, man. But um, but it's good to know, you know, that somebody, a fan, you know, had um went ahead and edited this film and took a lot of feminist shit out. Now I'm gonna tell you something. I never saw this in the films. Um, excuse me, in the movie theater. And I could care less too. Now, actually, I'm glad I didn't, cause one, I'm not into the whole time traveling shit. And that's what the movie Avengers pertains to, you know, and their way to get Thanos in the past before he get these gems, I believe. So, all right, that might have been a spoiler alert, but whatever. But yeah, guys, start to put you on, you know, for you red pill men, hope you learned a little something. And to you men of MGTOW, you stay MGTOW.